This is my first solo raid on a community server that had no build base damage on. I first did a lap of the base, checked it out and looked for any weak spots that I could get in. I noticed this wall was slightly knocked out. I don't know if someone had already boosted in and raided it, or if they were just still building it. But straight away the wolves came for me. I started running back to my car so that I could run them over. At this stage I was so new to the game there was no chance I was going to shoot the wolves dead. kind of brutal but if I didn't kill them they were going to kill me so I preferred to live today and we ran the wolves over. Next I wanted to bring my car around to the back of this base so that I could reverse it up to the wall to boost over after I knock a wall out. Uh, so once I heal that was my plan. I got ready and I began crawling in to knock the wall down. Once the wall was down I thought, yeah, I can reverse my car in up to the side wall, climb on top of the car and jump in through the fence. Unfortunately my driving skills just went up to par and every time I keep trying to reverse in I had this issue where I was just nowhere near the entrance that I needed to be. I was just getting a little bit frustrated with multiple attempts of trying to reverse the back of the car to the wall where I had knocked out the wall. I just couldn't do it. I don't know if it actually fits in there or not normally for other players but this just wasn't working out for me at all. Just went too far one way, too far the other way. I just gave up and decided I was just going to knock out the other wall. Uh, once I had that out, then I had plenty of space to reverse in uh, to jump this fence. Once this wall was down, I needed to get a pickaxe, which I knew were in the trucks that they owned. And with the pickaxe, I could knock out these two poles, which would allow me to then reverse in where I needed to go. And finally the last pole was out and now we can reverse in even if you are a bad driver now there's plenty of space and I could finally get to this wall uh, to jump over once I was over this one then I kind of just need to reverse in again to the second one to jump over that one as well and then once I jump over the second one I knew I could knock out one wall to let me in and out of the um, base the, the area that was sealed off so the next part that I found a little tricky was to jump over. So I thought I'd make my character a bit lighter. And uh, turns out I wasn't very good at jumping either. My friends did teach me on um, a prior server to this one, you could jump higher if you had a gun in your hand. So I thought I'd try that. I started trying to jump with a gun. <laughs> Um, I realised I wasn't waiting long enough for my stamina up. And then I tried again.
So now I need to make my character lighter, same as last time. Big throw, or not so big of a throw, trying again. Get my backpack over the fence. Now I just need to jump that fence and then I'm pretty much inside and I can knock a wall out. So I was pretty excited at this point as I thought I was about to be in the base. Except that happened. And then this happened. Uh, and now I'm stuck between the car and the wall. And there is no base damage on so it's not like I can knock that wall out. And I have no idea how to get out of this pickle that I have gotten myself into. I was stuck. It felt like no matter what I was trying, I couldn't get out. I was trying to jump, I was trying to open things, close the boot, like, oh, I just couldn't get anything to work. I knew I was already lighter, my backpack was over the fence. I started putting my guns in the car because they weigh something, I thought maybe, maybe, maybe I could jump higher. But no, nope, I just wasn't really going anywhere. And I'm also concerned because this is like the second time the wolves were here. I was kind of scared they were going to come back. I was also scared because uh, I was stuck here for nearly half an hour that the other player, you know, might come home and find me stuck here and A, kill me or B, I'll probably need a suicide in this situation which would be pretty disappointing after all that, you know, all that labour of knocking those walls down. I didn't really want to have it end this way, it just seemed so silly. I was trying just every, anything and everything my character would do at this point, I was just trying it, I was contemplating my decisions, it's been horrible ones at that. I just couldn't figure a way out of this place. It was so disappointing at this time. But then this happened. The hood came off and I realised I was up a little bit higher. Just that little bit. I was so like, okay, maybe, maybe I can jump here. Maybe I can jump on top of the car. Nope. And I was just trying different angles because I didn't know how to do it. I also didn't know if I could jump up this way. I'd never done it before. I realised I was getting height on the other side of that boot door, so I was trying to turn it around to get up higher. And I just kept trying to spam jump, and then she like grabbed the boot, and then she kept grabbing it, and I realised I was getting so close to actually like hooking on, and then I realised I could do it. Felt I needed another plan just for this last bit. I was scared of jumping in there again and getting stuck for another half an hour to an hour. And I did have another plan up my sleeve now. Um, but first I had to go deal with the wolves again because they'd been howling. So we were in for round three. I'd hate to say it, but that hit was a bit like 10 pin bowling and I nearly had a strike. Anyway, I was scared to reverse my car back up to that fence because if I jump in again and got stuck, I was just sure that I'd die this time. I knew that they had three trucks parked at the front of this base and I thought, well, maybe I'll reverse the truck up. They're a lot bigger and higher and maybe I could just jump in that way. And that was plan B. had the truck reversed as close as I could to prevent myself falling in that gap again. This time I was so relieved to see the back of the truck was higher than the fence and it was so easy then to just jump on in. Before I even looked around to steal their loot I knocked out a couple of these walls and that was in case they were home or they'd log in or whatever it might be I had an escape path ready. 
I then did a quick little check of the side and I was expecting a locked gate here but there wasn't one so it's all either been raided or they're still building or it's new I don't really know never been here before and I started stealing a couple of guns I checked their other loot out I definitely was not eating that fat it was the only piece of food here and knowing my luck it would be human steak so I am um, human fat sorry so I just didn't want a bar of that I started putting the guns in my car but my car was kind of already full of junk and I just didn't have enough room so it wasn't long after I decided I was gonna steal a truck as well so I moved my car to their truck and started loading some of the gear that I wanted into the truck and planned my getaway even though I had some um, encounters on this little journey my first ever solo raid I had a great time the wolves you know if they didn't show up it could have been a lot more smooth sailing but at the end of the day they were a bit of fun too I was lucky I didn't get shot at this time um, you know I nearly died with low blood I nearly died stuck in their base well kind of in their base between the car and the base if they logged in or if I just couldn't get myself out I would have had to suicide so a couple of close calls but this is fun and I look forward to doing another one soon thanks for watching